Hello everybody and welcome, it's John Pace and today we're just doing an extremely quick test uh, comparing the external uh, ProRes 8-bit 422 of the Shogun Inferno to the Sony a7 III internal XABCS uh, picture profile Cine 2 8-bit uh, 420. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because uh, in the past when I have imported my clips uh, from the internal uh, internally recorded uh, clips from into Final Cut Pro. Um, the images look uh, clean. That is, there's uh, no banding in the wall behind me. I'm referring to the wall here. Uh, it's, when it's in the shadows, when I import it, it's clean. And then after I apply color grade and a LUT, and we're just talking a very tiny color corrections, uh, the banding is obvious. Uh, so we want to see if the Shogun Inferno uh, shooting ProRes 422 uh, helps uh, mitigate that problem. Uh, so right now, again, we're shooting uh, ProRes 422 on the Shogun Inferno. So let's go ahead and uh, shoot with the uh, A7 III internal codec and see how that compares. Okay, welcome back. And now we're shooting with the internal XAVCS uh, Picture Profile Cine 2 on the Sony a7 III. Uh, we're looking uh, to see if that wall somewhere in the background, uh, if it gets uh, banding when I apply LUT and a grade. Uh, it's been a problem for me in the past. Uh, maybe I'm the only one who notices it, but once you see it, you can't help seeing it in all your stuff. So I want to know whether or not uh, shooting with the Shogun Inferno with the ProRes 422 uh, helps uh, reduce the amount of banding. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.